This is Greg Patterson with Arkansas Farm Bureau. And on this edition of Arkansas AgCast, we've got another special guest. It's Caleb Plyler. He's a board member for the uh, State Arkansas Farm Bureau and also is a uh, cattle rancher. And, and Caleb, welcome to the show. All right. Thank you. Now, recently, you were chosen to be on the uh, Cattlemen's Beef uh promotion and research board what was your reaction when you were picked to be on that board that's oh, a national know, that's, board yeah i mean that's a that's a big deal uh, it's pretty exciting uh, that you're going to get the opportunity to uh, serve um, in that capacity there's a uh, that's a very important uh, uh, job for a lot of things in arkansas beef uh, cattle wise uh, you know, they get to make a lot of important decisions about how your checkoff dollars are spent. So it's a real honor to get to do that. And, and just so our uh, viewers know, I mean, we're literally out in the field right now. We're, yes, sir. <laughs> Caleb was finding some rural broadband that he could tap into here so we could get on and do this. And, and for, for cattlemen in Arkansas, what's, what, for you is one of the biggest issues that you think you're going to need to be dealing with right now? Well, you know, in Arkansas, we're in a pretty unique spot because we don't actually feed none of our own cattle. So, uh, you know, there's no feedlots in Arkansas. So therefore there's no packing facilities. So, you know, most of our operations are going to be, you know, just a cow calf, some stalker. Uh, and then we're going to send those, those animals to a feedlot. Uh, closer to the actual slaughter facility so that they can actually, uh, uh, you know, have them harvested there. So, you know, we kind of got some unique thing, things to deal with uh, here in Arkansas because we do not have the advantage that some of those other states are about being, uh, being able to feed your own animals if you wanted to. Uh, yes, of course, we can custom feed them uh, in feedlots and things like that. But as far as having them there and being able to feed them, uh, you know, that's just not really a... Uh, thing that's feasible here in Arkansas. So what about you're, you're going to serve a three-year term and obviously there's a lot of issues that'll come up. Do you have any anything in mind? I know it's early since you've been chosen for this this board, but do you have anything in mind you'd like to see or bring to the attention of the national board? Well, you know, one of the biggest things that's uh, always is just continue to promote our product. Uh, you know, uh, I think one of the biggest uh, things that I've gotten to do is, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, I went on a U.S. Meat Export Federation trip to Japan, and uh, we we talked to those folks about, uh, you know, buying U.S. beef. And uh, I think those things are really eye-opening because not only do people here in the United States do we got to continue to promote our product, but we also got to get it out to uh, a broader audience because, uh, you know, here in uh, the United States, uh, we want people to eat beef here too. But uh, you know, we want to we want to tap into those those foreign markets that uh, need that really high quality uh, beef. And uh, you know, in the United States, we can do it bigger and better than anyone else in the in the world. So uh, you know, we need to to be getting out and promoting our product and making sure that you know, we can get the most bang for a buck and put money back into the pockets of the producers here in Arkansas. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's pretty hard times right now. And, and cattlemen, uh, you know, some of them get awful discouraged about the profit levels right now. And, you know, uh, I think it's very important that uh, we do all we can with that uh, checkoff dollar to promote our, our products. And, you know, it's very important for us to do that and uh, make sure that we get, get the message out that, you know, we got a very good product, uh, you know, the highest quality, and uh, we can do it bigger and better than anyone else. Well, he is Caleb Plyler. He's over in Hempstead County, I believe, out in one of his pastures, getting a, uh, a signal for us. And Caleb, thank you so much. You're on the beef board now, the National Beef Board, and, and congratulations on that honor. We know you'll do good work for the state of Arkansas and for Arkansas cattlemen. I uh, sure appreciate the opportunity uh, to get to do this. And uh, if anyone's got any uh, any thoughts or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to uh, to talk about them.